We Never Learn has officially ended at 187 chapters, and it has been a fun ride. For the most part, there have been some times where I was not happy with certain things, but we'll get into that. Now, the last time I actually made a video on We Never Learn was actually the ending of the second season of the anime, in which me and actually a good amount of people who especially read the source material were not happy with how it ended. I ended it with a very famous setting from Review Bra, because I think it encapsulated everything. My disappointment was immeasurable and my day was ruined. And that's exactly how I felt after watching the ending of Boku Ben, We Never Learned, Season 2, because it felt like the season was just open for interpretation. They kept it open base, which is how you should do, especially if you're not going to be getting a, sec a third season or a continuation. But for some reason, they decided to actually pick a winning girl and go on from there. And the winning girl, for those who are not in the know, was Takamoto, Uruka Takamoto. And a lot of people, it, it, it kind of felt out of left field because one, they did a time skip, not the most uncommon thing, especially for a harem type sco uh, show like this, series like this. But it was the way they handled her in the original series. Now in the original series, I had talked about this before, but we, basically were sh told that Takamoto was going to be put in put on a back seat. Um, needless to everyone's surprise that this whole aspect was done for a certain reason. Takamoto was purposely set on the side, F Furuhashi was getting more development, uh, Rizu was getting more development, um, uh, Asumi and Sensei kind of got their own uh, arcs at that time and I thought both were fantastic. I thought their arcs were the best. And Takamoto, they had basically cemented the fact that, hey, she's leaving and going abroad. I don't remember if it was America or she was going the Hachima route and going uh, to Australia. I don't remember. It's been a minute. I've, I've only re read it once and I've never reread the series, which I plan to because I actually thoroughly enjoyed the series and especially how it ended, which I'll get into in a bit. But... With how they handle Takamoto, it really did feel like, hey, she's not going to be here, so she's going to have her confession, and then that's going to be it. She's going to confess her feelings and really just say, hey, this, this, I, I felt this way about you, but now that I'm leaving, that's it. And they decided to go down the route of, oh, she likes me, oh, uh, and then for Nariyuki, the main character, he, he realizes, like, oh... She really did like me in this entire time. Maybe I really liked her. And it was that during this moment, a lot of the fans and a lot of the readers were just like, what are you doing? Because this is, had happened after the series, the season two series ended. And a lot of us were just disenfranchised, I guess, for lack of a better word, just with how things were going on. We were just like, so they really are going that route. And it felt weak, kind of felt off. And it happened. Happened exactly as, like, one guy had predicted each and every chapter on the Reddit. We were re I was reading the comments for every single... I always read the comments for every single chapter whenever it updates because I just love seeing other people's takes. And one guy had basically just... When it was starting to go down that path, he had basically, he had basically predicted every single thing that was going to happen. And much to our chagrin, it happened exactly like that. And we felt, it felt weak. And it felt like, this is how you're going to end the series? Really? You're going to end the, end the series like this? You're going to end it very just poorly, very, very cliche, and then ended. Needless to say, that's where we thought we ended. Then there was a little something at the very end of the chapter. Route 1 of 5 complete. And that's when the collective of We Never Learn, or Boku Ben, the fanboys, or fangirls, were like, Oh shit, <laughs> wait a second, was this just a route? And that really redefined our experiences and with We Never Learned, because we're like, oh wait a second. If we had known this was a route and not the actual official ending, we might be in for a treat. And then sure enough, very next chapter, it's all Risa Focus. And basically what the author did, and some people consider this a cop-out, I completely disagree with them, is that the author decided to do a route for each of the main five girls. 
First one being Takamoto, second one being Rizu, third one being Furuhashi, fourth one being Asami, and fifth one being Best Girl Sensei. In fact, I will never, ever lie and always swear that Sensei is Best Girl. I still have the Waifu Bible. Follow it, peasants. Anyway, <laughs> we always were a lot of people. There were a few, but a lot of people predominantly were okay with us. Why? Because some people believe that this was a cop-out, that this was the author not having the cojones to actually pick a real girl. I disagree. With a harem, harem-esque style of show where there are multiple girls and everyone has their specific girl that they believe is best girl. And eventually you're going to anger four-fifths, <laughs> in this case, of the fan base. Kind of like Gotoba no Yanha Naomi. I was part of the four fifths. <laughs> but he decided to do something for the fans. You get to pick your actual route. But like, and so he went through the routes one at a time. And they exponentially got better <laughs> as they kept on going. First one talking about him, weakest. I don't care what anyone says. Eh, I'll need to rewatch it. I'll need to reread it. But Takamoto and Rizu, I would say, are tied for the weakest. Then I would believe Furuhashi. And you might be thinking, oh, of course, this is, this is going to be where he, since he always parades it around, Sensei Best Girl, Sensei's Best One, so it's going to be from, uh, it's going to be Rizo and Takamoto, Furuhashi, Asami, and Sensei, kind of like how it is, saving the best for last. I liked Asami's route more than Sensei's, not going to lie. I think it was the dynamic between the two. Asami was always that flirtatious kind of girl where she would prod and poke fun at her little kohai and go from there and they just had this great dynamic back and forth and it was absolutely adorable and sensei's route was phenomenal great the melting of the ice queen i believe is what some of the chapters or some of the uh descriptions of was for that uh that route and it was great and it they all ended. You get to pick your same or your favorite route. My favorite was Asami's by a bit, actually. Like the amount of work that Asami's route did for her character, and like how much of it, I was like, this is a great relationship with some good backstory and like some deep lore from the series. I was like, this is phenomenal. I'd say since they had more lore, but in terms of just how the uh, how the candles uh, the characters were handled, I, I prefer Asami's. But, of course, at the end, we got all five routes, and everyone got to pick their own, their own canon route. I am a bit sad that Sekijo, best side character, best side girl by far, uh, didn't get a route. <laughs> because I, I, I thoroughly enjoy Sekijo. But, and then there was the final chapter. Because Sensei's route ended at 186, and then 187 was the official, the definitive last chapter. Where... I thought the Mad Lad was going to do it. Because it said Route 1 to 5, and it was showing each of the girls. Like, Route 1 to 5, 2 to 5, 3 to 5, 4 to 5, 5 to 5. And then there was a question mark question mark of 5, I believe, or... And then dot 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 question mark. So I was like, they're not going to do another route, are they? They're not going to do the harem route. And sure enough, they start off with all of them around each other during the fireworks festival because that's how the the whole arcs route started was the fireworks festival it was whoever was holding onto naruki's hand and then it would show that for the split second or the, near the very beginning and then going with the route they started off with everyone ever no 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 not just the five girls but the but sec no was it second joke but the side characters for asami um, side characters for Takamoto, uh, her friends, I believe it was, I don't, it was either or, and, like, Sekijo was there, the sister was there for all you perverts, <laughs> everyone, all of the main girls and side character girls were there, and shenanigans happen, they all fall on top of each other right as the fireworks happen, and then for some, and then they do, they do another cut, and then it shows that all the girls remember something not happening which and then they start remembering some of the scenes from all the routes um and then they get all flustered and sensei being flustered is mm, perfect a chef's kiss um and yeah i don't know and then 
it was basically it ended it just ended with a very open finale not really open but it, it concluded but it was just like it was a happy end and they finally showed the one thing that had been eluding the viewers this entire time they showed the dad's face Naruki's dad's face when he was younger albeit but it showed his face and pff, he is a suckler like they look almost identical him and uh, his son uh, just and but a, a bit more good-looking because he always had that like good-looking feature that all the girls were saying and yeah it was it was a uh, it was a very good series am I gonna miss the series absolutely will I read it again eventually uh, when I have time, I guess I would say. But overall, We Never Learn has officially wrapped up, and I kind of wanted to get my thoughts on it. I think this series is phenomenal. I think what the creator did with the whole route system was great. If we had gotten that for Gotoba no Yana Haneome, you know damn well I would have gone for my best girl. I believe it's in here somewhere. It's in the waifu bible somewhere eventually. Um, but I did write that Nino is best girl, and I think it's actually in my other waifu bible. Pretty sure it is, because it's not in this one. This is the first edition waifu bible, by the way. There's multiple editions. But, yeah. I think it is a good move. Some people think it's cop-out. I think it's great. You get, you literally give the fans what they want, and for some reason, some people are mad about that. I think that they're just the type of people that are, regardless of how the show would have ended, they would have been mad either way oh you picked that girl a oh, horrible choice you should have picked this girl oh you picked all the girls and you can pick whatever oh that's a cop out man if you're one of those people majority of us don't like you <laughs> just gonna tell it's gonna tell it is but now that we never learned has ended i kind of do wish that the anime had done a better job because there was a lot of stuff that the anime could have delved into with the third season i do re realize time chains are a thing and i completely understand that but if there was a third season there was so much untapped potential with all the backstories that they could have gone in and at least you can read the series and i think the series is definitely worth the read you get to pick your own best waifu and i want to let you i want to ask you guys who was your favorite girl uh who was your best girl of the five or was it one of the side characters and why is the second job if it's a little sister get out i'm just gonna tell you to get out right now because you're, you're wrong and i'd like to see that route too but that's besides the point <laughs> But anyways, guys, I just want to wrap up this video. I just want to give my thoughts on something that I've been following for the last few years, at the very least. And I just want to say to the author, Susui, thank you. I believe it's Susui, right? Hope I didn't get your name wrong. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you for this fun ride. It was great, and I enjoyed the series as a whole. And yeah, anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.